Hello and welcome to Devotions. Today I want us to be thinking about peace. I believe that one of the only ways we can get peace is by letting go and by putting our trust that God is with us and even in us and that it's that essence of God that just pulses out this sense of peace. Hear now scripture as it comes from the Gospel of John chapter 14. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples the last night that he is with them. This is um, at the same night as the Last Supper when he gave communion to his disciples. He says this, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go and prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am you may be also. We read this scripture passage at a lot of funerals. And a lot of times we just automatically think that Jesus is going to prepare a place for us in heaven. And when we die, we get to be with heaven. But that's not what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying here and now, I can be and will be with you if you believe. When we believe that God is truly with us and in us, that God loves us and God cares about us and watches over us, how can we not have peace? God wants us to know today that we are loved. God wants us to know that God loves you, God loves me. And God wants us to know that there is a peace that comes with accepting that love. There's a peace if we let go let go of the need to control, let go of the burdens that we bear and say, Lord, I give them to you. What do you need to let go of in order to hold on to God's peace? What do you need to let go of in order to hold on to God's love? Let us pray. Oh God, we give thanks that you yearn to give us peace and that the way to do that is to let go and to believe. Help us to believe. Help us to believe that you love us today. Help us believe that if we just sit in the stillness, you will be with us and in us. Give us the courage to believe that your love can overtake us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.